Previously on Broken Sylvia, we updated you guys by showing you the new workshop, filled it with tools, gave it a clean and even pushed a few cars in. After that, we did a tiny little bit of work by pulling apart the R34 engine bay. Welcome back to Broken Sylvia. My name is Damien and the long awaited episode five of the R34 rebuild is here finally. So this might not look like a car at the moment, but indeed it is an R34 Skyline. And today we're going to be shaving the engine bay on it. So I grabbed the marker thinking I was gonna cut out that whole section and replace it with one big piece of metal. But once I had a better look at it, I was better off just patching those two holes up with smaller circles. So after making a few relief cuts with the angle grinder, I grabbed the hammer and the dolly and beat the metal back into place. Then I took the welding cart that I had bought and set it up with my neighbor's MIG welder. Well, my neighbor's welder didn't work for very long. I think it's because it had a dodgy earth, but yeah, had to whip out my blue microwave and continue working. I took a piece of sheet metal that is the exact same thickness as the car, it's actually off my damaged rear quarter panel, traced a circle, cut that circle out, shaped it to size and then slowly started tacking it in. As I give it a tack, I also use the hammer and the dolly to um, mold it into shape nicely. That also gives enough time for the panel to cool down as it is thin metal and it, the heat can distort it. Give me your heart. 
So as you guys just saw, I put the dolly in the vise and used a hammer to kind of beat the metal into shape so it conforms to the car. I then trimmed it a little bit backwards and forwards, backwards and forwards until I got the right shape. Now I'm going to give it a quick few little tacks and again use the hammer with the dolly to make it fit up even better and then just continue welding it in until it's fully welded. Then I'll use the grinder to grind the welds down. They're not the prettiest but they do hold and then the next step is a bit of body filler, primer, sanding and stuff like that but that's going to have to wait for a future episode. So the last couple of days have been weak in the engine bay and I'm kind of over it at this stage. So to feel like I've made some progress, I'm gonna, I'm gonna just tackle the back end of the car. Anywhere I'm MIG welded this quarter panel on, I'm just gonna go around and grind the welds down. And so yeah, so we sl slowly start ticking things off the list so we can start preparing the body for paint. So I think this is the fourth day that I've been restoring this engine bay and look, I'm absolutely brain dead at this point, but it has to be done and um, I'm very satisfied with the work I've done so far. Last time I had help from my friend Mickey and my neighbor Pep to shave the engine bay on the S14. So doing all this work myself this time is super rewarding and I'm happy with the progress. But yeah, it's just such a dirty job to do. I don't like grinding. I'm not the biggest fan of welding either, but it has to be done, so another few little holes to be welded up, grind those welds down, and then we can finally move on to the next step. So sucking it up for four days and getting this out of the way is going to allow me to sleep at night. So, all right, let's do a bit more work. So I think all the welding and the grinding is done in the engine bay. I still need to grind from the bottom some of the welds, but we might find an easier way to do that at a later date. But for now, 
just give it a quick blow down, pack up the workshop, and then I'm gonna show you guys what I've done. But did you see it? People on Instagram that are following already know what's up. Well, if you saw it, that's the first bit of exciting news. The second bit of exciting news is we bought a rotisserie, so I'm gonna put it together right now. And the third bit of exciting news will come right at the end of the video, so I recommend you stick around for a little bit longer. So right here we have every single piece to put together for the rotisserie. We've got an owner's manual on how to do it. Uh, pretty much at my fabrication level, it's not even worth me trying to build one because the car would probably, something would break and the car would end up on the floor. Also, by the time you start adding up the cost of the steel, the wheels, the hydraulic uh, jack and stuff, you're probably not even far off just buying one. If I spent a week trying to build one, it, firstly it would be unsafe and I would rather spend a week working on the car. Another bonus is Harry also chipped in because that car right there we're going to be rebuilding together. Uh, so the cost wasn't even that bad at the end of the day. That car's also going to see the rotisserie. So with every build, we want to take it to a new level, try something new, uh, learn along the way. So I think a rotisserie for this project is, um, is definitely a must. So let's put it together now. So now you're probably asking yourself, what is there to expect in the next episode for this R34 rebuild? I'm super, super happy with the progress and how everything is coming along. Things are getting out of hand quite quickly. We're just pulling the car apart. So in the next episode, we're still gonna be pulling the car apart. So the interior has to get pulled out and bits and pieces like the fuel tank. After that, I'm probably gonna have to get a friend to come out because I don't trust myself with fabrication to make mounts for this shell to work with the rotisserie we've bought. That will be an episode on its own, but the next episode won't be on this car. It'll be on that car over there. So as I mentioned, we filmed bits and pieces for that reveal, and tomorrow Harry and I will come in, do a bit of work in the car to have enough footage for one entertaining video. So in the next episode, we are going to be revealing that car. Turn your post notifications on because that is going to be such a cool little project as well. If you like this sort of content, consider subscribing and we're going to see you guys in the next video. Welcome back to Broken Sylvia. My name is Damien. Currently we're doing the R34 project and unfortunately not everyone can relate to it worldwide as the car is only uh, available in some parts of Europe, Australia and Japan. While a lot of the viewers are from the US and can't relate to that build. So we decided to buy another project car. Mm -hmm.